Okay, so we're gonna walk you through the steps of embedding. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just one single cassette at a time. That's obviously really important. Um, it helps with any mix up. We wanna make sure that we verify um, our patient information is gonna be printed here, our case number. We're gonna compare that to our cassette log that we get every day. So we're going to just have one cassette out at a time. We're going to very carefully open it. We're going to verify that our tissue in there matches um, our cassette log as well, the number of pieces of tissue in there, et cetera. Depends on your site how they log that. And then, we're, then you're going to select the most appropriate mold. Um, we just have one size mold in our lab, but obviously if you have small biopsy pieces of tissue like we showed in lecture, you're gonna pick a much smaller mold. You wanna ensure that your tissue is going to be completely surrounded by a rim of paraffin once you have embedded it. So you can break the lid off of your cassette and what you're gonna do is we're going to just put a thin layer of paraffin at the bottom of this. So you're going to push against, we're gonna center it push it against, get a very thin layer. Right here, this is a cold plate. So before I switch to the cold plate, I'm gonna grab my tissue. After it comes out of the processor, sometimes it sticks a little bit in the cassette, that's normal. And when we're doing um, paraffin embedding, which is unlike frozen sections, the side that we wanna cut is going to be what we put down in our mold. So we have our ink here. This is a tubular structure, so we're going to embed it on end. It's also on FOSS because our ink side is going to be going down in our mold. So I'm gonna use my forceps, place this down into the bottom of the mold. You can hold it down so it's flush at the bottom move it to the cold plate so that it solidifies in the exact position you want it to be. I always kind of push along all the edges so we make sure that again, the bottom is flush so when we go to section our tissue, it um, is easiest to cut and face evenly. Then we're going to move it back. We're going to take our cassette and put it on the top. Again, we want to verify that we have the correct patient identifiers showing here push it down into the mold, it fits perfectly, it kind of locks in place. Then we're going to top it off, perfect. And then we're gonna move it over here to our large cold plate. 